a very new genus of bacteria to a great extent, or one that literally has been rediscovered, is the genus Bartonella. Historically, if we go back to 1992, only two Bartonella species were known to exist, and now we, we as scientists have discovered 26 different Bartonella species. So we've gone from just a couple to a large number. And there's two really important facts relative to the Bartonellas. One is many animals carry these organisms um, without showing obvious signs of disease. And two, the number of insect vectors that can transmit Bartonellas continues to grow uh, as research and our understanding of these organisms increases. About a year ago, I was contacted by a mother who related the history that she, her husband, and her son had all been sick for at least a decade. The boy was 10 years old and both parents were ill uh, for several years prior to their children being born. The medical situation was quite unique in as much as the son had a twin sister who died shortly after birth. And the twin sister um, had a congenital heart defect. So we initially started by doing blood cultures on the members of the family and found that all that, that the boy and the mother were infected with two Bartonella species and they happened to be infected with the same Bartonella species, the same subspecies, and the same strain. So as well as we can tell with these organisms, it was pretty likely that they had infection with the same organisms. We have historically blamed transmission on bites or scratches from animals, transmission by insects biting someone, and now there is the possibility that transmission is occurring from the mother to the child.